Hi guys, welcome back to the Alpha Customs YouTube channel. So today we've got the 4 Series again and we're just going to be changing a simple fuse today. So many of you might have had this problem on your car where the front cigarette lighter doesn't work on the car. This is caused by a metal object going into the cigarette lighter which can cause the fuse to blow out. So today we're just going to check the fuses on the car to make sure that all the fuses are intact and they're not broken if they are broken then we're going to get them changed um, the fuse location for the cigarette lighter is actually in the engine bay so we're going to open up the engine bay we're going to check for that the fuse numbers are 66 and 69 uh, for cigarette lighters so we're going to check that now and see if that's the thing that we need to change and if it is then we've got a fuse right here which is a 20 amp fuse which I believe is the one that we need uh, if not I've got a few other spares so let's go and if you're new to this channel my name is Andrew and on this channel I talk about little DIYs like this um, things that I'll be doing on these project cars the 4 series and the 7 series E38 um, as well as customers cars which vary from make and model so let's get straight into this video and let's get crack -a so first up you want to unlock the car or the engine bay I'm gonna pull on this twice and this applies to most F series cars I believe it applies to the 3 series and the 4 series I'm not sure about the 5 series, 6 series, 7 series um, or the X5s etc um, but what we want to do is get into the engine bay and then there's this cover you just want to pull on it it's just held in with like little tabs as you can see here just little tabs you just want to pull on it and it comes out and the fuse location is right there so we want to just start opening this up this is held in with four tabs one here one here one here and one here so just gonna undo those tabs and the perfect comes and then here you have access to all the fuses so I'm just going to go get a fuse puller from the back and then we can start removing the fuses and checking. So here is the fuse diagram as you can see this is maybe located in the back of your car in the boot and here you can see the fuse numbers are 66, 69 and 162 and I believe it should be 66 or 69 and then if you turn it over it will show you the location of where these fuses are so if we can see here it shows 66 right in the middle 69 right there so let's start off with 66 so it's the third one down let's take this out and bingo there it is this is the fuse that's been blown so once we get this changed should work so just to show you guys before I change it you can see that the the cigarette lighter doesn't work so we're going to go inside the car and then going to turn on the car normally this lights up and then it would charge this this will start moving and there's no activity at all so let's see once we put the new fuse in if everything works and also when changing a fuse you can see if it works or not by just looking at the metal bit inside so let me show you guys so as you can see in the metal inside you can see it's broken and it should not be broken like this as you can see on the new one it's all intact so we're just going to put this in and then we should have fixed the issue so we just want to push it in and make sure it's a 20 amp fuse and it should have fixed the problem let's go and test it out so now it's time to test it out Yes, 
there's the light there so it's working and then this will normally power up and yes let's see it's working so we know that that is fixed and it's just a simple fix one fuse which is less than one quid just fix the whole issue so if you have this issue with your car instead of fixing the actual cigarette lighter uh, which some people might do uh, make sure to go and check the fuse first as it's a simple DIY job simple job you just need to open the bonnet look for the fuse take it out put the new fuse in and job done and then you've got your cigarette lighter working again um, so yeah that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it found it informative and if you did like this video please do remember to like subscribe and comment be part of this alpha customs journey and watch out for all our other videos on the 7 series this 4 series and other cars that we work on so till next time peace